good morning students welcome to ninth science unit 13 chemical bonding part 1 now come to the learning objectives what are the concept you are going to learn to understand how the molecules are formed molecules means H2 NaCl are formed and what is the chemical bond and to explain octet rule octet rule means the outermost shell contain 8 electrons and to draw Lewis dot structure of atoms then to understand the different types of bonds ionic bond covalent bond coordinate bond then to differentiate the characteristics of ionic covalent and coordinate bond then to understand the redoxy reactions, redoxy means both oxidation and reduction takes place in a say simultaneously. And to find out the oxidation number of different elements. Now come to the introduction. How to define chemical bond? For, for example, flowers are held together by a thread. In the same way, atoms are held together by a bond that is the bond between the atoms that is the force of attraction between the atoms. So, chemical bond may be defined as the force of attraction between the atoms H bond H bond and that binds them together as a unit called molecule. So, in this chapter we will study about the Cauchy lewis approach to chemical bonds Coe's Lewis approach means either by transferring or by sharing the electrons and the Lewis dot structure and the different types of reactions. Then Cauchy Lewis approach to chemical bonds. Atoms of various elements combine together in different ways to form chemical compounds. For example, hydrogen H2, NaCl, so ionic bond, transfer of electrons or sharing of electrons in different ways to form a chemical compounds. Cauchy Lewis gave successful explanation based upon the concept of electronic configuration of noble gases, helium, noble gases means helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon and about why atoms combine to form a molecule. Atoms of noble gases have no tendency or little tendency to combine with other each other with or with other atoms of other elements. This means that these atoms, these atoms means inert gases or noble gases must have stable electronic configuration. Now come to the uh, name of the rare gases, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon and their atomic number. First one helium 2, the shell, K shell is here completely filled. The neon atomic number 10, then the outermost shell contains 2, 8, 8 electrons in the outermost shell. Then argon 18, atomic number 18. And here also the third shell, outermost shell contain 8 electrons. Then krypton, atomic number 36. Here also the fourth shell contain 8 electrons in the outermost shell. Then xenon, atomic number 54. Here also the outermost shell contains 8 electrons in the valence shell. And here radon, 86, atomic number 86. Here also the valence shell, the outermost shell contains 8 electrons. So, here all the well, uh, uh, outermost shells are completely filled. So, stable electronic configuration. So, these elements they have the mo monoatomic gas atoms. So, they are noble gases. Except helium, all other noble gases, helium only it has the outermost shell 2 electrons. All the other noble gases have. 8 electrons in their valence shell. So, even helium it is in its valence shell completely filled 
and hence no more electron can be added. So, thus by having stable valence shell electronic configuration, so the noble gases atoms neither have no tendency or any tendency to gain or to lose electrons. So, their uh, noble gases their valency is uh, 0. Then Cauchy-Lewis Lewis proposed a theory in the year 1916 to explain the chemical combination between the atoms, hydrogen HH in between the atoms or NaCl and this theory is known as electron theory of valence or octet rule. Why it is called as octet rule means it should be sharing or transferring electrons in the outermost shell must contain 8 electrons. So, the tendency of atoms to have 8 electrons in the valence shell is known as octet rule or the rule of 8. For example, sodium Na with atomic number 11, the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1 and here it will readily lose 1 electron to attain a noble neon stable electronic configuration. Yes, now come to the picture how the formation of sodium ion. Sodium Na, Na a sodium ion means Na plus. Here the sodium has the atomic electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 1. The first shell 2 electrons, the second shell contains 8 electrons, the outermost shell contains only 1 electrons. So, here the sodium it loses 1 electron to form sodium ion. Here you can have 2 comma 8, first shell contains 2 electrons, second shell contains 8 electrons. So, this is the formation of sodium ion from sodium atom. Here sodium it loses 1 electron to form sodium cation or ion. In the same way chlorine, chlorine has the atomic number 11, 7, 17 and it has electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 7. To get the nearest noble gas configuration argon, it needs one more electron. So, chlorine readily gains one electron from other atom, any other atom and obtains stable electronic configuration. Now, come to the picture formation of chloride ion. Chlorine, chlorine has atom, atomic number 17 and the electron configuration 2 comma 8 comma 7. First shell contains 2 electrons, second shell contains 8, 8 electrons and the third outermost shell contains 7 electrons. So, they need 1 electrons. So, they gains 1 electron to form chloride ion Cl minus chlorine atom, it gains one electron to form chloride ion, chloride ion. So, here only one electron they gain. So, it has the electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 8. Here sodium ion, chloride ion both they, uh, they have a stable electronic configuration. So, it has the ele electrostatic force of attraction between the atoms. In this next class, we will see about this uh, uh, stable elec electronic configuration. Here in chlorine, the chlorine has first shell 2 electrons, the second shell contains two ele eight, 8 electrons, the outermost shell also contains 8 electrons. So, it has a stable octet electronic configuration and this is the octet rule. Now, unstable electronic configuration. Now, come to the tabulation boron atomic number 5 uh, electronic distribution 2 comma 3 and here valence shell only 3 electrons. Why it is unstable means it loses 3 electrons to other atoms then only it is uh, unstable. In here nitrogen atomic number 7 electronic distribution 2 comma 5 and it needs 3 electrons to complete the stable octet electronic configuration. So, it is also in unstable electronic configuration. Oxygen 8 atomic number 
and the electronic distribution to comma 6 and it needs two more electrons to complete the stable octet electronic configuration and sodium 11 atomic number 11 and here it has excess electrons. So, it lose one electrons to form a stable electronic configuration. So, these are the elements of unstable electronic configuration of some of the elements in the tabulation. Now, Lewis dot structure, then Lewis dot structure or electron dot symbol for an atom consists of a symbol of element surrounded by dots representing the electrons of the valence shell of the atoms. The unpaired electron, unpaired electrons in the valence shell is represented by a single dot, only one dot, whereas pair, pair of electrons are represented by a pair of dots, two dots, so it is called as a pair of dots. And symbols of some other dots also like crosses or circles may be used to differentiate of electrons of different atoms in a molecule. Now, come, come to the tabulation of Lewis dot structure. Hydrogen atomic number 1, distribution also 1, valence shell 1, here the Lewis dot structure here, the unpaired electrons means you can put a single dot. Helium 2, here also distribution 2, valence shell 2, here this is a paired electron, so you can represented by a pair of dots. And beryllium atomic number 4, electronic distribution 2 comma 2 and valence electron 2, here the, uh, you are represented by a unpaired electron, so you have to represent by a single dot. Then carbon 6, electronic distribution 2 comma 4, here 4 valence electron, 4 electrons. Here the unpaired electrons here you have to represent by a single dot, all these are single dot. The nitrogen 7, electronic distribution 2 comma 5 and the valence shell also 5 electrons. Here listen here carefully and first to 2 dots, it is a pair of electrons, so you have to represent by a pair of dot. Another 3 electrons are represented by a single dot, it is an unpaired electrons. Then oxygen 8. 2 comma 6 of the outermost shell, valence shell, valence electrons contains 6 electrons. Here 2, 2, 2, all these 3, how many pairs means 3 pairs of electrons are represented by a pair of dots. These are the representation of Lewis dot structure. Yes, now come to the assignment. What is chemical bond? Explain octet rule with an example and explain the Lewis dot structure and these three equations you have to learn and write one time. Okay, students, thank you.